What's up, Peak Timers? Let's go ahead and open up the newest 2021 Hot Wheels. And we'll start it off with the 2017 Camaro ZL1. We've got a brand new recolor of it in this nice looking orange color. This is from the Then and Now series. So we should have a then car of this one. I think it's probably the 67 Camaro, if I'm not mistaken. But there it is in this nice looking orange color, blacked out wheels, the number 17 on the side with that striping there. Not much as far as tampa work goes for the front end. We got that nice striping that goes down the top right there. And then we got a little bit plain on the back with that little lip spoiler right there and a black base for this Camaro ZL1. Next up, we've got a new color variation of RV there yet from the Hot Wheels Getaway series. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And this one looks to be a light blue on the back. We've got the nice blacked out wheels with the chrome lip. We've got like a nice orange looking car. And then we've got Look at that, it's like a woody look to the side of it. It's an interesting new color. RV there, yeah, it's a very, very interesting looking casting. It's definitely something unique. You can see it looks like it has six wheels, entire combination, but these ones in the middle are actually just fake. You can see they don't actually roll or anything. It's only four wheel tire combination on this one. Actually, we've got that little thing on the back right here, which is your spare tire. Big window for the open canopy right there, but nice looking RV there yet. From Hot Wheels Art Cars, we've got the La Troca or La Troca. I'm not sure the exact pronunciation of that one there. Let's go ahead and pop it open though and see it. This one is the Art Car series. So of course it has all the cool looking graphics and stuff you can see right all along the side of it. Cool looking gold wheels that are mesh. We've got the gold chrome grill on this one as well. And you can see all the painting just on the hood right there. We've got the H right there. So this should spell out Hot Wheels eventually if you have all the art cars. Look at the gold on the bottom of this one, but a neat looking little truck. I was really looking forward to this one from the Baja Blazer series, the Land Rover Defender 90 brand new color variation. And I love this Baja Blazer series with all the mud that you can see kicking up, even got the mud splashed on the side. Let's go ahead and open this one up. That one opened up very easily for some reason, but there it is. You can see all that mud that is splashing up along the side of it. Isn't that cool? Very, very neat looking one of this Land Rover Defender 90 right here. There's the 90 just on the front end. Matte finish paint job on this one as well. There's that spare tire on the back with the wheel right there. Very, very cool looking. I absolutely love this one. This is going to go into the collection of all the new color variations of this Land Rover Defender 90. Tuned out twin mill the tune twin mill we've got a new color variation of the tune twin mill let's go ahead and pop it open and get a nice close-up look at this one this one looks to be a kind of a maroonish red type of color that we can see right here kind of a candy apple red you can see that white striping that comes down the center there's your tuned out twin mill so we've got of course the two big engines on there big wheel tire combination big wheels on the back small ones on the front but totally tuned out and squished such an interesting looking casting from hot wheels Metro we've got the total disposal right here very very cool looking casting I really like this one we've seen several different recolors of this one this one now we've got with the gray backing and then the green front and we've got blacked out wheels with chrome green lip on them I don't think I've seen a chrome green lip on wheels before but obviously this one being a garbage truck and it's kind of like a squished garbage truck you can kind of see it's really tiny but I really like total disposal I've always been a big fan of this casting and I'm happy to see more recolors colors of it come to the Hot Wheels main line. Another Baja Blazers, this time it's the Toyota Off-Road Truck. Of course, it's got the mudded out tires on here from all the Baja Blazer series. Let's go ahead and have a look at this one right here. You can see this one, it's a nice glossy looking red color right here. We've got the blacked out wheel on the back just sitting right there. And then you can see the gray wheels with the, all the mud all over it. Just check that out, very, very cool, love it. Too bad they didn't have the mud that kind of kicked up on the side of it like that Land Rover Defender 90. We've got the big push bar on the back. Holly on the hood right there, all the sponsors and all that that go down the side, even the little Hot Wheels logo that we have right there for this Toyota off-road truck. 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 from the Hot Wheels Torque. We've got a new color variation of this one. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see when we always see lots of recolors of Mustangs when they come out with the new Mustang casting. We originally saw this one and I think it was a blue color that it came out with first, which I really, really liked, but this one yellow with the blacked out stripe that goes down the center. And we've got that 
big look right there for the supercharger of course very aggressive looking front end not much as far as tampa work it's too bad we didn't have some stamping on the lights in the front right there that would have been cool it would have given it more of an aggressive look no tampa work on the back we've got that nice little spoiler right there blacked out wheels very very cool looking i'm really a big fan of this casting t-rex troyers our next one right here from dino riders let's go ahead and pop open the t-rex troyer aggressive looking dinosaur type of casting right here you can see the big teeth for that chrome grill right there we've got the hands that kind of come over the front wheel tires which is really really cool and then on the back you can see it's kind of like his feet that cover the rear ones we've got the tail that runs down the center the big engine that sticks out and you can see just that side profile you can see the dinosaur face just all right in there really cool looking casting though brand new recolor from the hot wheels art cars of road bandit yes it is the i believe it's called the jeepney in the philippines very popular uh, transportation car over there but there it is crazy looking big engine on the front all that chrome that goes all the way around it you can see all the chrome just right here look at all the crazy colors of course it's an art car so it's got to have all the crazy colors we've got a hot wheels logo with a little heart on the back that's interesting haven't seen that before but there it is oh man doesn't that look crazy road bandit i've always kind of uh, been intrigued with his casting i think it's definitely something different and unique that they brought to the hot wheels mainline but what do you guys think of road bandit from mattel games the pictionary edition of the 2010 pro stock camaro and i'm really liking this mattel game series lots of interesting cars that kind of go after uh their actual board games that they've released in real life this one that pro stock camaro and let's have a close-up look at it you can see pictionary written just down the side of it you can see the little kind of a stick man picture just right on the back right there that's really really cool and then you can see the pictionary just written on the rear spoiler right there and there is that guy on the top as well very interesting and you can see the big cowl induction right there not much as far as tampa works for that grill goes but still pretty detailed casting for the front end right there we could have used some lights or something but that's okay we've got the rear end with the uh kind of the the wheelie bar that we've got on there and then this is supposedly an imitation of a parachute but pro stock camaro from 2010 what do you guys think of this one in the pictionary edition form another hot wheels art cars edition car we've got rigor motor check this color out let's go ahead and pop it open and we can see what this one's all about and this one it's got like a matte finish paint job but then all the crazy artwork on there then we've got the pink like side exhaust pipes that come out and then just check out that wheels right there check check those out the wheel tire combination crazy looking wheel tire combination the pink on the bottom the pink all around you can see it right there and then just like absolute craziness for color it's a very different looking casting i don't know what do you guys think of this one right here from the hw torque series we've got the 2019 corvette zr1 convertible this time released in white let's go ahead and have a look at what it looks like right here and this one's a really nice looking white color on here it's uh, kind of almost slightly off white it's not like a pure white to it uh, great looking detail from the front end just look at the the bottom diffuser that cowl induction right here for the supercharger on it and then we've got great detail for the headlights the little Corvette logo the striping that kind of goes right down the car right there from the side really cool looking profile love that lip spoiler on there also on the back great looking details for the headlight uh, or the rear light stamping as well little Corvette logo just an all-around great looking casting it's really put together nicely all the proper stamps and all that fantastic you have to get your hands on this Corvette Dodge van from the HW drift series right here and this one I originally thought was just a really boring casting when it first came out but honestly I'm super impressed with this one this is like kind of like a mustard looking color very weird looking color right here it's got the moon eyes written down just right there so that's interesting and then just check out the detail for that front end look at the stamping and all that for the front lights and all that just like they've done a great job as far as stamping goes on this one if we look in the back it's kind of a little bit plain on the rear end we've got little slots for those windows that's kind of classic of this era of car and then on the inside you can see we've got a little go-kart on the inside isn't that crazy just awesome awesome detail on this dodge van right here there it is from the side just a great looking casting i mean like i said not super impressed with this one when i originally saw it and then all of a sudden i was like just open up and held it and just i love it i think it's a great looking car brand new casting from the hw race day series this one is called the 
Davancinator, the Davancinator. I'm not sure if the exact pronunciation of it, but there it is, brand new casting. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see what it's all about right here. Super, super chromed out right there. Look at that, it almost looks like it's scratched. Look at that. I think it is actually scratch from the factory. So I don't know if you consider that an error or not, but you can see that scratch that goes down there. You can even actually feel the scratch a little bit. So that's very interesting. Haven't seen that before. Very chromed though. Side profile looks kind of like a, just like a sporty race car. We've got that diff, a big rear spoiler and the diffuser that sticks out from the bottom green on the bottom right there. There it is from the front end. I don't know what this one's supposed to be. It's just crazy, crazy looking. Just so many slots and so many angles. Number 52 written on the side of it. This is, I think, supposed to be some sort of air scoop on the top of it. Well, what do you guys think of this one? What do you think of the air with that crazy looking scratch down the front end right there? 2017 Acura NSX from the HW Turbo Series. This one in a very, very nice looking red color with the chrome wheels. I'm a big fan of this one. I like these NSX and I, I like the return of the NSX. I think it's pretty cool. It wasn't as popular as the original one, but it's an interesting looking design. And you can see the lights and all that from the front end right there. The little Acura logo that you can see. Very, very cool from the side. You can see those nice big chrome wheels on there in the back end. It's a little bit, uh, it's not nothing too crazy. Slightly plain. You can see it's got slight stamping right there, but it kind of looks like a message in with the color, but it's actually not too bad. But just an overall great looking design car, Acura NSX, the 2017 model. 2017 Lamborghini Urus, brand new color variation. This time we released in white from the Factory Fresh series. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a look at this one. We've seen yellow, we've seen blue. Now we've got the white edition of the Lamborghini Urus and I'm just really, really liking this casting. I'm loving the detail on the back, but especially the front end detail. Just look at all the, the slots, the angles, the way those headlights are stamped right there, the nice little Lamborghini logo just right on the front end. Just a great looking car all around. I really like it in this new white color. And these have proven to be fast down my track, so we'll definitely have to put it down the track in our next race and see if this Lamborghini Urus can take the title as our Hot Wheels champ. Another brand new casting from the HW Screen Time Fast and Furious Spy Racers. It is the Rally Baja Crawler. Check this one out. It's obviously like an off-road crawler truck here. Let's go ahead and open it and we can see what it looks like up close. It's a nice looking like matte black finish paint job on here. It's got that nice matte feel to it. And then if we look at it from the side, wow, just look at these bars that come up here. These bars are made in plastic. So they're kind of just put over top of the actual metal casting, which is really, really good detail for this one right here. And you can see it right there all from the side. Big looking wheel tire combination aggressive front end it's got that like kind of push bar that just like sticks out on there as well the bottom of it is actually all plastic it's not metal so it definitely feels a little bit lighter of a casting than the normal ones but great detail i think it's good how they detailed it, that kind of top right there with the bars that kind of come around for this one what do you guys think of it it's treasure hunt time from the hw dream garage it is the diora 2 and here it is wow treasure hunt of the case here and let's go ahead and pop that open and if we look right inside the card right there there's your treasure hunt logo right there. So we'll throw that card on the side here and let's go ahead and look at the Diora 2. And first let's spot the treasure hunt logo. There is your treasure hunt logo just right there, really tiny right there. And if we go around to this side right here, you can see the treasure hunt logo just right down there on the same side, opposite side. I really like this one because the surfboards we've got on the back and then we've got the Hot Wheels logos just on those surfboards right there. Very, very cool looking car. I've actually seen this car in real life. They actually made this one in person. I saw it at one of the Hot Wheels Legends tours. Very, very cool looking car. I absolutely love it. Next up from the Factory Fresh series, we've got the Volvo 850 Estate Car. This one in yellow, we've got chrome wheels on this one. Very, very neat looking car. Let's go ahead and pop it open. We can get a nice close up look. And I've been a big fan of this car since it came out. It came out originally in white. Then we got it in blue, we got it in gray, we got it in red. Now we've got a yellow release of it. So lots of different color variations of this one. But it's a very boxy design, but it's just super interesting. The Volvo 850 Estate, I mean, you can see the front 
nice headlights on there just a nice boxy looking design the sunroof is even boxy looking the nice boxy rear ends and we've got good details on that rear end as well the little volvo logo 850 i think it's a really cool looking car what do you guys think of this one do you like it in yellow which is your favorite color release of this one batman akram knight batmobile we've got right here from the batman series you can see all the dc batman sponsorship of course and let's go ahead and open it up and we can see it this one's in a light camo it's kind of like a tan camo edition of this one and you know what i know this was really cool in the batman movies but I, i'm not really a big fan of the design of this batmobile i would have liked to see well, like the older style one that has like the the jet engine that kind of like is huge on the back this has just got like a little jet engine on there nothing crazy i mean i respect all the cool stuff that it does in the movies but it just doesn't look cool enough to be a batmobile what do you guys think from hot wheels screen time we've got the minecraft car new release of this minecraft car we've seen several different recolors of this car and i'm not a big minecraft player so i don't really know exactly what all the different characters and stuff are but you can see the design on this one and we've seen a lot of these ones come out in gray but now we've got this one right here so what is the character of this minecraft character car right here a different colored wheel tire combination look at that just an absolute crazy color it's kind of like an orangey and yellow mixed in on this minecraft car nissan r390 gt1 from the factory fresh series i've been really looking forward to opening this car up we've been looking at this one and like in like pictures and stuff on the internet finally we've got it in hand let's go ahead and have a look at this one right here and it's a very cool looking le mans car very nice looking blue color to this one if we look from the front end right there great looking detail for the headlights and stuff like that nissan's not really known to make like crazy sports cars like this but they did make it for le mans and just look at the nice stamping and detail on the rear end right there the nice like swooping aerodynamics of this car i think these uh, these wheel tire combination are period correct so definitely kind of fits this car right here I mean, I just think it looks cool. It reminds me of the McLaren F1. You guys know it, my favorite car of all time. So this is kind of in that era. What do you guys think of this one? 1970 Toyota Celica. And I think this is a new casting or new to the main lines, at least from the HWJ Imports series. And uh, funny enough, I used to own an old Toyota Celica, a little bit newer variation than this one right here, but still nonetheless, there are very cool little cars right here. Kind of sporty, fun little cars. You can see this one, it's kind of like a gloss gray color which I do like and you can just see from the side profile very very neat looking car from the side and then if we look from the top especially you can see those fender flares that stick out craziness to it we've got a little bit of uh, riding on the front end right there and that lip spoiler on the back you can see crazy looking lip spoiler the nice looking graphics that run down the side i think these wheel tire combination i think that looks great i think it looks absolutely fantastic cool looking from the back as well all chrome base on this one but what do you guys think of this new toyota celica right here from the the x racers we've got the slide kick new color variation of the slide kick let's go ahead and open it up and the unique feature about this slide kick right here is it's got this little piece right here that slides right out let's go ahead and see there we go perfect so you can see that and it's an extra little seat that pops out from the side or i guess this is the seat where the guy would sit because he just sits down right there and then it just slides right in and also if you look the back spoiler right here you can actually just kind of pull that out and that's how it slides the guy back in and forth so rather than just pulling it manually you can just pull that little piece right here and that slide kick just slides right out uh these are very different looking wheel tire combination you can see it's like the x-ray series so it definitely does have the see-through stuff but what do you guys think of this new slide kick last but definitely not least the robo race robo car from the hw green speed this is a driverless car real life car that they made into a hot wheels format we've seen several different recolors of this one now we've got this white colored variation and it's got the light blue accents and all different kinds of like kind of futuristic striping and stuff on there and we've got the hot wheels logo just right there the little 68 for the year of hot wheels just very very aerodynamic and see how hot wheels has made this one very uh intricate casting so they've done some great detail to it how they have the slots that kind of come through the aerodynamic parts that come through in the back right here as well and these wheel tire combination i'm not a huge fan of would have liked to see something a little bit nicer looking but nonetheless this car is just very very cool it's it's basically the cars of the future the driverless cars that are electric craziness guys